What makes Triple G so scary? Triple G has become one of the scariest fighters of his era due to his vicious knockout power and ability to break the will of his opponents. Do you enjoy hurting people with Triple G? In Rick, yes, because you know, like, I don't know why, just so many people just have maybe bad word or doesn't want to fight with me. I don't know why, just, yeah. <laughs> to honor this legendary middleweight, I will break down what makes Triple G such a scary fighter and how you can unlock a new level of potential for yourself. 1. Surrender the outcome This may sound counterintuitive, but Triple G's ability to surrender the outcome of his fights actually gives him an advantage. Contrary to the usual pre-fight boasting you hear from fighters, Triple G takes all the pressure off himself by saying he doesn't know what's going to happen. Nobody knows. Nobody knows really. Just ask me after fight. His typical response is, this is boxing, and we will see what happens. <laughs> No, this is life. This is boxing. <laughs> I hope. Here's another clip of Triple G being asked about the outcome of an upcoming fight. I hope. Some people might say that hoping to win is not what you want to hear from a fighter. But I believe the reason Triple G is so passive is because he only commits to what he can control. His own performance and his own self-belief. 2. Own your authentic identity Triple G has become one of the most feared fighters by stepping into an identity that is synonymous with throwing punches with bad intentions, bringing unrelenting pressure, and being able to take his opponent's best punch and keep moving forward. These attributes are all a part of an authentic identity that Triple G embodies every time he steps in the ring. He wants to punish his opponent in the ring as he highlights in this next clip. show you right now where I have time. I have 12 rounds. I show you every round. I beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him. His corner, respect his corner. He understand. He said, stop, stop the fight. You wanted to teach him a lesson. Exactly. Everyone is different and needs to step into the identity that fits them best. But Triple G is a natural aggressor who loves a Mexican style fight. This is my style, like Mexican style. This is fight. This is not game, this fight. I love fight. When he owns this identity, he steps into the ring as a fighter who has intentions to punish his opponent, and this mentality gives him the best chance to win. There is no substitute for experience, and Granati has a lot of it. He started boxing at 10 years old, had over 350 amateur fights, and now is going into his 41st professional fight at the time of this video. The only path to mastering your craft, especially in martial arts, is with practice and experience. The more you fight and the more deliberate practice you participate in, the more the fight slows down and the better you can perform. Don't worry about things you can't control. Triple G is constantly being asked by interviewers who's going to win upcoming fights, what do you think of this judge, and everything in between. Everyone, and we've been talking you up, and the boxing press and fans have built you up as this monster, and it's too bad none of the top fighters yeah. would fight him. Despite the constant prodding, Triple G always seems focused on the things he can control, which are his own performance and willingness to fight. Now, what do you, what do you say about people who say you haven't fought anybody yet? Anybody tough? Mm -hmm. So you fight trash cans all the time. You know, I'm ready for everybody, you know, <laughs> I'm open for everybody, you know. This mindset makes Triple G even more dangerous. He's not losing energy thinking about things he can't control. Instead, he just focuses on his performance and being his best. Maintain a singular focus. Many of us see iconic knockouts from Triple G and forget that the only way he got there was through hours and hours of working on his craft for the past 27 plus years. Last five years, I live in my gym. It's my life. You wake up at 6, 7 o'clock, around 3 hours, and second training minimum 3-4 hours, you know, every day. This is discipline. Triple G's obsession with being an all-time great boxer leads to an almost unimaginable work ethic. This work ethic translates to his ability to dominate his opponents in the ring. It's not just that you've knocked a lot of fighters out. You've provided these iconic moments here against Macklin, the left hand. Everyone remembers the way he was on the canvas from one left hand to the body and he's rolling around on the canvas. Here against Curtis Stevens, the left hook and, he, and this face he makes, like, whoa, what just happened? This mindset of pursuing greatness for the sake of greatness instead of fame or money aligns his energy with a higher singular purpose, being the best. You can apply these same principles that Triple G has used to unlock his greatness if you're willing to surrender the outcome, own your authentic identity, become a master of your craft, 
stop worrying about things you can't control, and by maintaining a singular focus. Thanks so much for watching this video. My name is Brandon Epstein from The Bee Mindset. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the little bell below the video, and check out my other mindset breakdowns available on the screen now.